We're back for more unboxing. Welcome back. Although this, technically these are not boxes, they're envelopes. But yeah. we're still opening them. Should we be calling this more un unveloping? Maybe. All right. Well, let's do some en un unveloping. We've got four non-manila tiny envelopes here. Let's see what they've got inside. Probably each one has one movie. And even the small ones. Sticky, sticky stuff. By the way, I'm uh, wearing a band t-shirt here. This is Throw Rag. If you would like your band to be seen on our show, send me your band shirt and I'll wear your shirt. See? Advertising. We're going to start making money off this free show. Free advertising for your band. Oh, free shirts for us. Yeah. Okay. And if you've got a cool nerdy t-shirt, send it to me and I'll wear it. <laughs> uh, all right. First white envelope. Here you go. Ooh. Oh. We watched this movie already. Sound of Metal. We saw this movie. This movie is intense and it's good. Speaking of bands, this movie is all about a drummer of a band um, who, this is not, it's not a spoiler, right? I mean, it's basically the movie, but he goes deaf and we see his story. Um, and he, he got an Oscar nomination for it. There you go, Oscar nominated. This movie was uh, really, it was really intense and we didn't know what it was gonna be about. And so we just knew we had a vague, it was, uh, you know. You burst into tears as soon as it went to the credits. When it, yeah, when we got to the end of the film, I just burst into tears and started bawling. I mean, I was hoping for a, well, I don't want to spoil, it's not a spoiler, but you It's know, a sad ending. I was hoping for a more happier ending or I was hoping for, I don't know, I just thought it was going to be something else and it just, but it's still it, a good movie. It's a really good movie. Um, really good movie. Yeah. Another I movie? highly recommend. Okay. Uh, On the rocks. Oh, speaking of which. You remember this from the last episode. That big newspaper that we got. There it is. Written by? Sofia Coppola. Yeah. Do you remember the movie that she wrote that he was in? Bill Murray was in? Uh, Lost in Translation. Okay, yeah, I did see that. Yeah. Um, well, there you go. I always love a good Bill Murray film. That's available on Apple Plus, Apple TV Plus, if you already have that. You can watch it now. All right, another paper. Bill Murray's a fun guy. Yep. There's, everyone has stories about him. He's always good. Yeah. Ooh, now Hulu movie. We saw this one too. So this movie is called Palm Springs. It was fun. Whoa, it was how fun. does this open? Show them this. Okay. This is like a... What? Oh, and then this... What? It's like a little accordion with some pictures there. And pictures on the back. You know what we should do with this one? We should make it into a loop. Because the movie is about like a time loop. Get it? Mm -hmm. It goes around and around. Never ends. That's what they should have done. Anyway, very funny movie. Um, also, the uh, movie that sold for the most amount of money ever at Sundance. Do you know how, by how much? That's impressive. Do you know by how much it beat the last film, the previous film? It was like a couple cents or something. It was 69 cents. <laughs> Get it? Okay. Anyway, very funny movie. Last white envelope. No manila on this episode. Ah, this one's supposed to be really good too. Minari. Now this is based uh, loosely on the director's uh, own childhood. Growing up as a in an Asian American family, it's supposed to be very good. Lots of people. It's on their top ten lists of the year. And it's been nominated as well. I believe so. Yeah. Yeah. So there you go. We will look forward to watching this one. All good movies in the white envelopes. We should maybe open more of those. Oh, we have no more left. Okay. <laughs> uh, tune in next week for more 
unenveloping.